And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Hey, hey. Yo, 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 what up, y'all? It's your boy, Switch. I'm here with your man, Jimmy. I'm here with your man, Jay. And I'm here with your man, Ant. And we have a very, very special guest. You already know my man, Loso. What's up, up, man? (laughs) What up, fellas? How was y'all weekend, man? Amazing. How y'all doing? Beautiful. Everything is lovely, man. It's It's cold cold out here. here. It's cold out here in Cali, bro. What, What, like 75? (laughs) <laughs> nah, right, bro. Uh, actually, actually, you know what? You said seventy five, and I just swiped on my phone, and it's at seventy two. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> I talk about it's cold. This dude pull out. That's what phone. we had in Tampa. We had seventy two. Wow. <laughs> Yo, is that cold for you? Is that cold for you? That's hoodie season. Damn, Damn right. That's oh what I'm saying. That's hoodie season. For <laughs> Yo, when, it turn, when it turns 70 in New York, wow. that's when we start rocking our tees. Like, yo, right. how to wear our T-shirt. <laughs> wow. I don't, even, yeah. I don't even put a coat on until it hits 20. Word. <laughs> nah, see, we don't go. We don't even go outside when it's in the 60s, bro. What? Right. what like, for? like what life, life shuts down. <laughs> like, right. a, it. It's a you lockdown. Make a, <laughs> you make lockdown. a hot cocoa at 60 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> like, is this it, Lord? <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. What's the lowest y'all hit over there? Like, what, 30? Nah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure there's been some times. Like, we haven't, I mean, since we've been in December, we haven't hit that low. But, I mean, probably like in January, February, it's probably going to get like that. Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. Now, how long you been out there? Because you, you were born and raised out there, or you you lived in New York, right? Or yeah, Jer- Queens. I, I'm born in. I'm born. I'm I'm from Corona, Queens. And so no way. Hey. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, well, it's well, flushing, well, flushing. Uh, yeah, so, I grew up in Corona. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, About but I lived there till I was ten. But I lived there till I was ten, and then I came to Florida. But um, so the reason why I rep Tampa and Florida is because I just feel like this is where I learned how to rap. This is where I, I went to school at. This is where, you know, I got into my first fight, first girlfriend, you know, all that stuff. So I just feel like my you life first. was kind of shaped. You know what I'm saying? I was mm-hmm. kind of shaped out here. And so um, but I go I go back up there every year, though. I mean, I, my, all my family's still in New York. And so I go up there wow. every single I was just up there not too long ago. Wow. Yeah. Wow. OK. Dang. Small world. So you coming for Christmas or you staying over there for Christmas? I'm staying, I'm staying over here for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I no, try no, not to go, not up to go up there this time, bro. <laughs> nah, that's too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> and then you telling all your family, move out here, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yo, I don't I really don't know how y'all do it, bro. I like I go, I like I was I was just I just came from hooping. You know what I'm saying? Like we was just all outside and <laughs> that's just the weather in December that we need, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Life is different, man. I hear that, man. Yo, did y'all see that? Um, y'all saw Spence versus um Danny, Danny Garcia. Yeah, yeah, uh, man. I was so mad, bro. I'm yo, I was rooting for Danny. Danny yo. I'm I always just look. It doesn't like if you, yeah, if you a Latino, bro. I'm just always gonna root for you. And so, like, <laughs> I've been going for Danny. Like, I feel like every time he has a big fight, bro, he, he just let me he down, just showed, right? Yeah, like he and it's and it's crazy because like you know Danny don't get knocked down. It's just right. that he just doesn't. To me, at least, like there's like a tier of boxers, mm-hmm. and Danny could like there's like certain fights he could actually put his name in that conversation. But he doesn't. He never does. So he just stays here. You know what I'm saying? He stays here. But right. I mean, Spence. I mean, I, I like obviously. You know, you could argue that he's probably the best right now. But yeah. I mean, I don't know, man. I All thought right. Danny was gonna get him though. I blame Even after the accident, like yeah, yeah. He came back. He right, looked good, right. yeah. Yeah. I, I blame Danny's dad. I'm sorry to say it like that. You know, maybe I shouldn't, but I don't know. Well, like did. just hearing him and the way like he right. trains him. I'm Terrible like, advice. I'm like, bro, like, oh, he, he's pitty patting you. You gotta no, like I don't, you know what I mean? Like, you're supposed he, to he's like, like don't let him pitty pat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what like, he said. Come on, yeah, like, wake yeah, up, Danny. Like, come on, fight, yeah, yeah, Danny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, bro. <laughs> every time Danny went to the corner, he was telling Danny, he was like, "Danny, you hear me? You hear me, Danny? You can't let him do that, Danny." It's like, can't let him do, do what? what? Like, get right. yeah, tell <laughs> me what to 
And, you and then how? <laughs> how do I prevent that? Right, right? Yeah, stay, stay off the ropes. Off the you know what I'm saying? And like, I really think that's the issue because I, I think I think like Danny skill and I saw things in that fight that I was like, yo, Danny is nice. Like he impressed me even even though he lost. I still saw some things that I was like, yo, he's a you, great he got some clean puncher. shots in. Yeah, he got some yeah, he like did. he he, he knows how to throw an accurate punch and and it's hard. You could tell like, yo, he hits hard, but I feel like his pops just like you said, like he's just reached a certain level where he just needs some extra training, like more head yeah. movements, more yeah. footwork. Yeah, his footwork was terrible. Some salsa enough. dancing lessons or something, man, because that's the problem. <laughs> I think it's really his footwork. Yeah. I mean, Spence was killing him yeah. with the same he thing, more the same jab. He was killing him with the same jab. He obviously, you know, had that reach on him. But I'm just like, Danny, you knew that going into that, bro. And like your father knew that. I, yeah. I, I was, I didn't see no, like there was that, there wasn't one time during that fight. In the whole fight, he was losing. He was losing almost every round. But there wasn't wow. one time during the fight, he made an adjustment. Yeah. 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 It was the same. He did the same thing. And, and there had, were times where he was throwing that right hand that was hitting clean at Spence. And I was like, that's working. Use that. And he didn't. He caught him with a mean uppercut one time, too. But yeah. he's bought equal, right? Yeah. Yeah. From Philly. See, come on, bro. <laughs> that's all right. Like, like, we got Cotto. Well, we had Cotto. Then Tito. And then I mean, like Danny. I'm like, come on, Danny, bro. Yo, we got Berlanga. Yeah, Don't. that's the new one. Don't watch him. He's you think he gonna be nice? He is nice. <laughs> he's sixteen. He's sixteen and zero right now. All his knockouts first round. Wow! Wow! wow. Yo, I don't what, know what's that. What's that other other? I don't know what his nationality is. The other Latino. He's like mad popular. A, a young boy. His Ryan? name's Garcia too. Ryan yeah, Garcia. Oh, Ryan Garcia. Ryan, yeah. Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I think he's Mexican. Yeah. 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 Didn't um, nice? Didn't Jake want to fight him? I mean, that was all for show. You know how it is. Yeah. But obviously, Yo, Ryan has a bigger career in professional boxing than Jake does, you know, because Jake's just right. entering right now. Oh, no. Nah, even though he hasn't really fought like, an actual good. fight. No, but Ryan's like a real boxer. He's a real boxer. Right, right. Real yeah. boxer. Yeah. Real boxer. Yeah. Real boxer. Under, trying to box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> under uh, Can- Canelo's camp, I think. No, I thought he signed to uh, who, though? Isn't he signed to De La Hoya? Yeah, isn't De La Ho- isn't Canelo signed to have De La Hoya too? That's the same thing. What's that? Dazzle, yeah. Dazzle, Dazzle, Golden Boy, Golden, yeah, yeah, Golden, Golden Boy. Golden Boy, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. he signed with them because I seen them together. You know, they were like you know fighting whatever. I mean, unless they were just chilling or whatever. You know, he's Mexican. They both both of them are Mexican. Now Spence and Garcia were the main fight, but did y'all see the fight with the tall dude that was six six? 153 pounds. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> that wasn't fair, bro. Yo, this dude is 6'6", 153 pounds, boxing. Like, yo, the other dude was six feet, and he couldn't reach him. He couldn't touch him. Hey, yo, Ryan is on Golden Boy Promotions. Okay. Yeah, see, oh, God, man. I didn't see that fight, though, Switch. I'm, I only caught the main event. Yeah, so there were other good fights. Uh, Dude stopped him. Tall, tall dude just... Yo, is the six six dude supposed to be like he a phenom? Like he he's, he's just get a different. Or... Like it's gonna be hard for people to box with him because he's so tall. He's six six. Like his reach he, is like he was, was he was one fifty, right? Did he look one fifty three? Was it awkward looking though? No, like, but he was nice. Like you could tell he got oh. power. He got some hands. Right. Like he's what's not, his name? Ah, oh, what was his name? I gotta look it up. Somebody gotta hey. look that up. Um, it's interesting though that uh, you say that it wasn't even fair because they announced yesterday Mayweather and Logan Paul fighting. That's uh, wild, bro. That's insane. Do you know how much money? Oh, that is? his name is Sebastian Fundora. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. Oh, that's that six six dude. Yeah. Dang. Sebastian. Yeah, Jake Jake Paul versus no Floyd. Logan. 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 Oh, it was Logan. Logan Paul. Yeah, his older Jake. Jake's older brother. Jake fought last time? No. Yeah. 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 Jake was on who fought. Oh, so now yeah. Logan is going to fight. This Mayweather. is Logan. Yeah. Logan's <laughs> fighting Mayweather. And Floyd going to bet and Logan's fought? tons of money. Yeah, I mean, but now nah, Logan Logan has fought like another YouTuber and he lost. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Yo, how much so does he I weigh though? He looks like he's 200 pounds, man. Nah, Ooh, yeah. He looks, Lo- he lo- he, Logan? He's actually bigger than his brother. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he looks true. big. Yeah, oh, but now is this a money play or what? What is it? Because for sure, yes. money, how do you, yeah. how do you compare that? Like, 
this if if Floyd catches him, he's out. That's it. He's done. Well, I think Floyd is gonna drag it like he did with Connor. Yeah. yeah. Make it. Oh, a he's, gonna, he's gonna show, dance right? around. Dance Floyd around. Give him a show. Drag That's what he it, does. and then and then I'm well. Then I'm again, he finished. Well, he finished that other uh, that Japanese kickboxer. He. He got him right out of there. <laughs> <laughs> One <right>. round. <laughs> so Mayweather's only doing gimmick fights now? That's Seems what it like looks it. like. I He's mean, that bag had to be insane. Money fights. That, but you know right. he'll bet on himself, too. So he'll put some money on him. He's not trying to tarnish his record, you know? Yeah, yeah. Right. he's not. He's not gonna fight no. You know, he's not gonna come back and fight Canelo. I don't think that's gonna happen. Nah, no nah, Canelo. Gotta no, stay away no, from Canelo. No stay Pacquiao. Away from nobody. Not a Pacquiao yep. one. I think I would like to see that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he done. He's not gonna. That's some money. That's a money fight. Yeah. He ain't putting his rep but on yeah. the line no more. I don't see it. But Yo, yeah, what's what? um Chavez? Proof. The uh the junior, the one Chavez that was junior out. His that's son? The one I be, yeah, that's the one I be smoking weed and, and wilding out. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. He won't, he's supposed to fight Berlanga next. Oh, he, really? Yeah. Yeah. So Is, yeah, for yeah. next year? Yeah. Oh, That'd wow. Fight. Yeah, for sure. For sure. There's Speaking a lot of fights this month. There's no Yeah, Canelo's fighting this month at the end of the month. Where? Uh, yeah, um, this other Ryan dude. got one at the top of January. Ryan Garcia. Oh yeah, yeah, he has one at the top of January. I'm um, waiting for him and Javante. Oh, yeah. Be um, yeah. Next what? year they got to do Crawford and Spence, Javante and Ryan. Ryan. Yeah. Um, this Saturday you got uh Joshua and Pulev or Pulev. Joshua's fighting. Yeah, Joshua's fighting. Yeah. Anthony Joshua? Yeah. He not fighting uh he ain't fighting. Oh, he not fighting either one of those two. Wilder yeah. or the other guy, right? Fury. Hey, nah, man, no, no way. Forever. No way. But that's what's up. What yeah. else y'all did this weekend? Anything else? <clears throat> Yo, I was at the mall. It was like COVID didn't exist. <laughs> I saw that man. That looked wild. Right? You so right? Maybe, you, yeah. You seen uh you see how they're doing Santa pictures? I think I sent it on Instagram. It looked like, no, it looked like Santa photo bombing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got Santa with a mask sitting all the way, standing all yeah, the way I went, the to, I went to the mall yesterday, yesterday, and it's wild because it was packed, but it was packed because they were making everybody stand in line before they go into the store. Mm. Wait, but aren't you guys on lockdown? Yeah, but apparently malls are essential. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got to get your H&M jeans, dog. That's essential. You got to get your Christmas gifts, man. What y'all talking you know about? I mean? Oh, man. You got to spend that stimulus cash. I went to the mean? mall today, actually. Oh, everybody's at the mall. Hey. Yeah, well, my daughter, she got picture day. So she's like, oh, I need an outfit. And uh, I'm like, how you tell us? I don't pay. How you do picture day in their home? Through Zoom. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, they, they having them they come the in the screenshot, the screenshot. A little screenshot. <laughs> Yo, they have them come into school. My son did it. They had the mask and then they go, take off your mask, snap a pic, and then that's it. And get out of here. Yeah, outside wow. too. Yo, that's funny how, uh, it's crazy how COVID don't exist once you take your mask off for a picture, right? Oh, for eating. As soon as the camera, f- huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, for, for eating. eating, yeah. Oh, for yeah. eating, yeah. yeah. And in the minute you're done taking that picture, you got to put it back on because COVID's after you. COVID's right. after you. Like it knows. And before yeah. 10 o'clock. After 10 here. <laughs> in Cali. In Cali. <laughs> after <laughs> 10. <laughs> like, yo, you don't got that in Georgia. That's what yeah, they no, so Y'all chill the over there too, right? Like Florida's Florida restrictions. Florida. Yo, I'm not even I'm not even lying to y'all, bro. We probably we probably took it serious for maybe about a month. <laughs> after that, I'm not even like, bro. <laughs> they just don't care. And, and it was crazy because at one point, if you, you had like 20,000 cases, right? We were the epicenter, bro. Like we had passed New York. I feel like yeah. at one point, Florida, and, and it didn't matter, bro. The NBA, we we opened up for the NBA. The NBA came through, did the bubble right. in Orlando, in Man. Tampa. Like at, at least for me, every all my experience, like joints were kind of like shutting down certain restaurants where, you know, putting like 50% capacity, but it was never like, yo, it's getting, you know, this is the this is the protocol from now on. 
Um, schools are open, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I just feel like movie theaters, you, like people ain't going to the movie theaters like that, but movie theaters are open, bowling. Word, wow. Yeah, I don't, the, I mean, they now, what's crazy though, it's I, which which kind of pissed me off. I don't know why they did this, but like they were serious about like taking out all the basketball rims. That made no sense. Out, out of every part. But the crazy <laughs> thing is though, all the clubs were open. Right. Yeah. You can't play ball outside. But everybody was at the club. And I was like, yo, if you're gonna open the clubs, at least put the rims on. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so yeah, so now nah, Tampa was a bad example, bro. And I tell people, I'm like, yo. It's it's still normal over here. We've been at like phase three for now. Well, I spoke to some people in Florida, and they were like, it wasn't as it, it seems over more hype than what than what it really is. Like, there's a lot of people like, yeah, they say there's that many cases, but I don't see it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I I, t- I try to tell, I try to be sensitive with that. You know, I mean, like, I didn't, <laughs> I only because like you know, like so for for battle rap, you know, we actually have to get tested before we before we battle each other you know what i'm saying at least the league that i'm in with right. url but um but everybody else i mean as far as like being in tampa and stuff i try to be i i, I don't know somebody specifically who like really you know was kind of hospitalized by it, but um but i do know people like who have like family members or whatnot so like oh, that went it, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, like, it it definitely doesn't feel like if you just, like, go through the city, like, it doesn't feel like that. You know, we got the Super Bowl coming here next, like, what? Not next month, but February, in February I think. Mm-hmm. You know, the Super Bowl's in Tampa. And so, like, they already kind of, they, they you know, they putting things together to have, like, an event that whole weekend, you know, that whole week. And so, um, you know, I mean, we'll see how it goes. But, but yeah, yeah. I, 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 would, I would agree with them. That was interesting because, um, even in that, in, even in that fight that passed, like I saw a crowd. I was like, "Wow, this is the first yeah, sixteen thousand, right? yeah. wow. sixteen thousand, sixteen thousand people was in there." Ooh, yeah, where was it? Wow, Dallas, I believe, Te- uh, Texas. Oh, Texas. Okay, yeah. 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 now it, it, it's supposed to now the the arena that they was in was eighty thousand. It could fit eighty thousand, but they yeah. only they only sold six, over a little over sixteen thousand tickets. So and I, I saw mean, the I Charlo it, brothers without their mask. Oh, <laughs> they yeah, were just yeah. sitting there like whatever. <laughs> screaming too, right? <laughs> Man screaming and spitting over somebody. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's crazy. Yeah, Florida, Florida, Florida be it's like here. Yeah, they don't care. They just everywhere, yo. They look at matter of fact, they look at you crazy because you got a mask on. Yo, take that off. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> now, what's crazy is that they do have, like, we all masked up. Like, you know, if you go into stores and stuff like that. But for the most part, life almost back to normal just with masks. That's it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, basically. I mean, yeah, you got to wear masks like in Walmart, Target. So you go to your local restaurant, you just. So, like, the companies are open and stuff like that. Cause, like, in New York, our businesses, like, you know, nine to five financial businesses, like, a it's lot still- of them are working from home remotely. Are you guys open like that? Like, where is like business? Nah, I know. Like, my wife is working from home. You know what I'm saying? She works and she works at and crazy thing. She works uh, for a health department. You know what I'm saying? That's what she does. But they they work from home. But um, I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like it hasn't. There isn't one thing that I've I've went to go try to do that I couldn't do out here. Right. I just feel like everything's open. And I mean, I was like I said, I was just in New York a couple of weeks ago. Times Square was, it looked normal to me, bro. I mean, I don't yeah, know if y'all yeah, been yeah. out there for a minute, but I was in Times Square one night. I mean, you had everybody, like, it was, I remember everybody was on Harley bikes. They were out there doing tricks, bro. You know, the traffic was there. You know, they had the break dancers out in Times Square. Like, people, tourists was out there. Like, every store that I was, like a regular day. I walked by, yeah, it, it looked, I mean, it may have, maybe the, the amount of people is probably mm-hmm. more, um, but, but just that, I know that week that I was out there, bro, it felt normal, bro. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been it's like the 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 shutdowns aren't as bad now, but they're saying that they're going to start it started back up like how it was when in yeah. like April phase and 1 all that where it was like everything was like ghost town. I am legend. Well, not really cuz I'm I'm upstate and the same thing like I didn't really feel that effect cuz I still was able to do what I had to do and I was good, you know what I'm saying? More of that nightlife is is cut off more, like you know the restaurants after a certain time, or people that go to bars and clubs, like that's all done. <laughs> wow, you gonna go to the club that bad though? 
Yeah, maybe. That's crazy. <laughs> Switch be posted up on the block till 5 a.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Drinking coquitos, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's not Christian. Oh goodness. Yo, it's not. <laughs> What's up with hey. your man, uh, Dana Cor- Corverstone? Your man, no, nah, that's your man. Let's, yeah. <laughs> that's my man, now. Your man, real quick. He, you know, yo, it was I, interesting because we had talked about him before, and he had these dreams. And it was crazy is that he seemed like a genuine dude. Like, yo, I had these dreams. This came to pass. But and, he had to throw in his disclaimers though, because he was like, "Look, I'm a pastor." I didn't say I was a prophet. I'm a pastor. I'm just telling you I have these <laughs> dreams. Right. So yeah. He had to throw that in there. Yo, real quick, break. I mean, kind of give me like a, a summary of like, is he famous? Is he like a popular pastor? Now he is. Now on YouTube. <laughs> because Before he didn't have a really, he didn't really have a, a following. Yeah. So basically he, he basically said that he had these dreams before and he never spoke on them on the whole COVID situation and he had told people in his church and then he's been having dreams ever since. And he said, I I, I feel like I should express this on YouTube because I've been having these dreams and warning the people. But, you know, he was saying like stuff was going to happen in November. After the elections. Uh, yeah. Right. Like yeah, closer to the Trump elections. Was gonna win, right? He said, uh, yeah. He said it was going to be some, not, well, I don't think he said Trump, but he said, he said there was going to be some stuff going down after the elections. There was going to be, he said, more famine, right? He said, right. stock up. Then he said, uh, he said that he felt like COVID, there was going to be something worse. Like it was going to mutate or something crazy or but something. He's like saying, but he's saying that God is telling him these things. In his dreams, right? He mm-hmm. said in his dreams. Yeah. And then he said he, he saw visions of blue helmets and troops stomping through U.S. soil, which was U.N. troops. And now he's talking about December. So I'm like, all by November, I, right? I kind of feel like they be dragging it out. And, and, and Marcus Rogers, you know what I mean? And I, wow. I don't want to talk too much about him, but I feel like he does the same thing. Like, oh, the Lord show me and just watch. And then every time there's something else, yeah, you're going to see next week and this. And then yeah. it's like, yo, dude, like you, it's like you stringing us along through this whole thing. And people are still there like, yeah, he's a man of God. He hears from God. I'm like, but nah, he, man. None of his prophecies came true. <laughs> none of them. No. So, so what? What did Dana say now? now what did he just say? Right. December. Yeah, he's pushing it back. He December. pushed it back. Oh, so he's saying it's gonna happen in December. Okay, okay. Got it. Yeah. But then he kept. But this this video, December. he kept saying like, "Yo, I'm not a prophet. I'm not a prophet. I'm just a pastor." <laughs> he's like, giving a dream. on this video, right? Yeah, yeah. This video, he was like, "Look, listen." He, yo, know, he said it so many times. I'm not a, I'm not a prophet, but he just kept talking. He probably, yeah. he probably saw our video. What's huh? crazy is uh, like episode. when, when you look at scripture, like the scripture clearly identifies what a false prophet is. You know what I'm saying? And they say those kind of things too. Where I heard, I had vis- visions, I had dreams. Yeah. Like this isn't something that you just say, "Oh, my bad, I made a mistake." Like, right, dude, you're not hearing from God, period. You know what I'm saying? You may be having these dreams and whatever it may be, but this isn't yeah. the Lord telling you to, to proclaim this or none of that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. So we have to call them out as false prophets for what it is. You know what I'm saying? Whether it, you know, and I hate to say it because I, and sometimes I'll be championing these dudes like, yeah, you know what I mean? Not champ, not champion them in the sense where, <laughs> you know, I, I just be wanting it to be real so, you know, we don't look foolish in front of the world because when the world hears this stuff and they're like, yo, look at these Christians, they always talking about, oh, God, this, God, that, and it look, you know what I mean? It don't come to pass, you know what I'm saying? We look mad foolish. You got to take your Shaba back, huh, Switch? Yeah. And then, (laughs) um, Shaba back. You know, the scripture also says, you know, call them for a false prophet. And then another false prophet is someone who tells you something that's true but then tries to lead you to another deity, right? Or another God, you know what I'm saying? Which you see a lot, like, you know, in certain cultures where, you know, they have these psychics or these people that predict and they're accurate, but they're leading people to another deity, you know what I'm saying? So, right. and we just got to call it for what it is. It's not a mistake. You know, yo, you're joining on point, son. Right, <laughs> right. hear from the Lord, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did how did the Lord show you this vision, give you this dream? And I don't know. I don't remember if in the dream he said, 
that God told him November, but you said God gave you a dream. Nah, he did. It was going to happen November, right? Okay. He said, so, he said September. Uh, he said started September, and then he said November. So he said all this. And well, then he March, said it. He said in God the dream, a finger back. was pointing at the calendar. Yeah. Right. Oh, right, right, right. I remember. And that's that. when it was going to pop off. So, 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 so God sent him a follow up e- email and was like, "Yo, let's reschedule. We need to push. Up. We need to push it back a couple <laughs> days." Up. Is that what happened? He had another dream where God told him we're gonna push it back, and then he woke mm-hmm. up. <laughs> he was like, hey dog, I'm running a little late. <laughs> he was like, Lo, so what platform? COVID. What platform are we on? <laughs> yeah, yeah. COVID slowed the prophecy. COVID was slowing the prophecy down. That's what happened. Oh man. Nah, man, it's sad, man. You know, and I mean, so what do what do what do people do? Like after, like you just repent, right? And then I need. I mean, after a while, you just gotta shut your mouth, right? It's not even like. I'm about to say he gonna repent or something. He really feel like he, yeah. you know, he thinking he really telling you something. But I've never really seen a situation where like a dude went out the window, said something like that, and then came out publicly and apologized or like took ownership. Like, yo, I was wrong. I just never, I've never seen a, yeah, a guy sure. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like usually when they do, when they when they getting crazy like that and saying like you right. know, these false prophecies, uh, they kind of just take it to the grave. Now I did now now I would say this though I do remember I don't know if y'all remember this I do remember Benny Hinn though kind of like and I don't want to say he was repenting or whatnot but I do remember him doing a video where he was kind of like that was like recently right like when like, last year? at least a couple yeah with, with like maybe a year or two bro I I just I, and I don't remember the whole video but I do remember him kind of like it it seemed like he was like at least taking back some of the, or he, or he was regretting some of the teachings he was saying he was doing. Yeah. I think, I, I think it was, was uh, I, I think that. it was like the prosperity gospel, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Like yeah. He, and it was almost, I mean, I don't know if I'm, you correct me if I'm wrong. Was he like crying in the video? Like I felt like he was like, almost like being brought to tears, like how broken he was over it. So it was kind of odd, you know what I'm saying? Cause obviously he's such a uh, big figure in, in what he was doing. Yeah, but, um, right. but I thought, it, I thought that situation was dope, but, uh, but for the most part, like, you know, dudes like that, man, like, I, I just, I just don't expect them. I mean, obviously, apart from the grace of God, I don't expect them to kind of like come out and, and, and take ownership for that. Yeah. Well, Dana, Dana didn't see you know, me. I guess he kind of. I mean, Dana always back. came in with that, with that, uh, that disclaimer from the get, like, I'm not a prophet. I'm not this. And he's like, I'll tell y'all if I'm wrong. I think there was one dude that he got caught in that whole Trump election thing that he was running with that too, that the Lord told him that Trump is going to win. Oh, I don't know. And dumb, I'm showing all of them grace because I'm waiting to the inauguration. Right. There's still time for that. There's still time for that. But when you they say might be September, time. October, November, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's a little different. Yeah. There's, there's still time for, 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 for Trump to get that W. You know, he's got all <laughs> kinds of court cases going on right now. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Shut down. Yeah, well, at least, um, um at least um, inaugurated, it ain't over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But with you know, with Dana doing what he did, at least he didn't get shot. <laughs> <laughs> that <sound> like <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> I mean, as a pastor, they, they getting shot out in Cali. What a, what a segue! <laughs> Yo, I love that. That, that was that, that was, was cool, was, right? That was, that was good. I like. Y'all seen the video though? I saw I the video. Not. I don't. I don't think your man is a pastor, though. Why? Where they get that from? Why they say he Yo, was so a set pastor? it up? Because <laughs> it's World Star. He he stepped out of a pickup on twenty fours with a black right. suit, looked like a silk suit with a red tie. Yo, your man hat. was laced. Your man was laced. And then came, he, came out, he, he had the match machete. machete, right? Yeah. With the machete, he had the machete approaching dude, and that's why so he came out so, with a machete. So yeah. for sure, he was Dominican. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, racist. That's not Christian, nah. bro. That's not Christian. Nah. <laughs> but he came out with the machete approaching dude. He told him to back up. He kept coming, and he told homeboy, "Yeah, he told him he was he was gonna cut him." Oh, yeah. but from the from the thing, it sounded like he was just a uh, innocent. Pa- I didn't watch the video. They making it seem like he was. Just I don't think he was a pastor. pastor that was nah, that was just nah. jumping, a shot. Bro, he got out the car. He got out the car. He walked over to the dude with a gun. And the dude's like, dude didn't want to shoot him. He was nah, like, he you didn't. know, stand back, stand back, stand back. He had many opportunities. Oh, and so then homeboy he, got too close and dog. caught what? One in the he's chest. A, 
He's Hold on, there was a chest on the side because he, he he popped him one time and he held he held this side like he had gas. He, he was like, ah, ran off, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he did. and he just took off, bro. But That's even wild, before bro. that, like he started fixing himself and everything, like dusting off his suit, like getting ready, like he's about to I go down. So. If pastor or not, that dude, that dude don't need a pistol. He wasn't no so he literally he brought a knife to a gunfight. Literally, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah like, he was basically. a pimp. He wasn't. A yeah, pimp. I'm thinking from the headlines, from the the the, the description is, pimp. oh, pastor got shot like random. Like, nah, this dude uh, was aggressor. What was it over? Like, a, like a like a like a a traffic thing. I have no idea because it, it nah nah that street. was on private property. That was on really? private property. He was in somebody's somebody's um driveway parking, like parking lot. No, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So know. you think pastor should be strapped or not? For sure. Why not? Why not? Yeah. I know, I know, out there in Florida, twenty two thirty six, and your ground, right? I'm los. Yeah, I stand your ground. I mean, I don't know. I don't care who you are. I mean, if you, you know, that's just a liberty that you have. Yeah. So, I don't really think it's you know based off a of profession. I mean, I guess people would would assume like if you have a gun, you automatically are taking a violent route, but. And they just don't assume that you can have like a self defense stance, but right. nah. I mean, I mean, in that situation, yo, if you got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. And anybody coming with coming at me with a machete, man. But you don't, you don't think, you don't think that that pastor or or a Christian in general doesn't have enough faith in God if they carry a gun. <laughs> Uh, there we uh, go. <laughs> right. Yo, Jesus said to buy his sword, man. What you mean? <laughs> look, look. Yeah, what you mean? Buy his sword. What that mean? He said, he said, he said, he said sell your no face and buy a Glock. That's what he said. <laughs> That's in the KJV. He said, sell your no face and buy a Glock. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, for... No, that's yeah. the that's the KJV. JV. Oh yeah. The if they're gonna get <laughs> shot, get shot by a pastor. You get a bless. You get get that quick prayer. Send them right to on. heaven. The healing? <laughs> <laughs> he going to pray for your healing? <laughs> for real quick? Nah, I mean, faith, I mean, I don't know. You I think hear it's a lack of faith? That, though. I hear people say That's that. That's actually, though, I, I have faith to wear a sweet, a, like, I don't, I'm not going to wear my seatbelt because I got, I got faith. Like, Who say that? You say that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, that's an example. That's like, like some Bronx <laughs> theology right I there. I don't wear my, my seatbelt because I got faith in God that I'm not going to crash or, like, you know what I right. mean? Like, you take precautions for everything Listen, in your yo, life. Yo, you got freedom to, if you don't want to wear your seatbelt, don't wear your seatbelt, but don't put that on God, man. <laughs> that's, that's a, you lock your doors right at night yeah it depends yeah, where, where, switch lives. Your doors? where switch live and where and live you don't need to lock no doors i lock oh, my okay. doors <laughs> well you're from new york so that's a different story i still got the double lock man i'm still paranoid <laughs> yeah i'm locking the doors and i'm listening yo, to the dogs yo one time my wife my wife i didn't know this but my father my wife my father-in-law had an extra key and he was coming oh. to visit us for the weekend he almost so got I'm shot. Sitting in the, I'm sitting in the in the in the couch watching the TV, and all I hear is the lock getting played with, and somebody opening my door, and I panic. I'm like, "Yo!" I start yelling. I'm like, "Yo, what's going on?" So I run to the door, and it's him. And I'm like, "I was so, dude! Like, I was scared out my like. I didn't even know what was going on. Like, I you know you don't expect somebody to come in your house." Right. He's like, yo, dude, relax, relax. I'm like, yo, I thought somebody was trying to rob us or break in or something. But he had a key, though. He had a key, but I didn't know that. Like yeah. he, you had that. Ch- did you have the chanclet in your hand, or what? What you had? Nah, I just ran to the door because <laughs> I was just like, "Yo, if anything pops <laughs> off, you know, I, I, you know, I'm in New York, so I, I mean, what? You gonna call your wife? I'm like, gonna just hey. put my body on him. You know what I mean? I keep. That's the best I could do. <laughs> I jump on him. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, that's tough. That's my wild, wife was like, man. "Calm down." I'm like. But I, but I just didn't know what was going on. Like, I, I didn't know he had a key before or anything like that. Supposed to be calm. Where was your faith? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, little faith, huh? Right. <laughs> you exactly. can't even have faith in the lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. That's uh, a crazy well, scenario, well. man. That's yeah. wild. I don't know what I would do if somebody just started walking in my door like that. That's... Yeah. That's that's wild scenario, man. Yeah, that could have turned opposite way, but thank God it didn't. Right? Yeah, yeah, man. You didn't. You didn't want to be the dude that hurt your 
Your, your father in law. Your father in law, dude. <laughs> well, he's he's military. You probably hurt me. <laughs> oh, okay. You broke your arm in three ways. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Catch all the bullets with his teeth. <laughs> oh, wow. Where Yo, what's up? Y'all getting the vaccines? They on the way. You first. <clears throat> Man, you, you know you got Bill Gates on, on speed dial. You're like, yo, yeah, let me get it. Don't oh, tell the guys. Oh, my God. <sighs> I mean, know, is it going to be mandatory, you think? Nah. I think it's going to be mandatory. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, yeah, Jeff. So I think if you want to travel or you want to go into certain public school federal office or, uh, offices, mm-hmm. public schools, they're going to make you get it. County hospital. But, Will, you know, the president or any government, local government say, if you reside here, you need to get this vaccine. I don't see that. Mm-hmm. As as far left as New York could be and California, I don't think that's possible. I don't know. Cuomo doesn't even trust the vaccine. He's like, I mean, but that's all politics. It's all politics. Yeah. He, we got it. Remember, Trump was like, oh, New York uh, doesn't want, didn't want to participate or whatever. But then what happened a couple of days later? Oh, we have it. We, we got it now. All of a sudden, yeah. hmm. no, I don't so, know, but yeah, it'll make so the companies like, to the point. Go so, ahead. like, getting obviously, when like, I don't know, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the same way everywhere, but you know, when your child goes to public school, there's certain shots that they got to have, mm, right? right? And mm-hmm. so, do y'all think that this will be one of those, like? Like moving forward, like yo, for sure, they need to be yeah. vaccinated for the co- yeah. for the co- for COVID nineteen yeah. before going into school. Yep. And if so, though, like, where does that put you as parents? I don't have kids. I'm I'm, I'm talking my child. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's tough. It's gonna be chicken pox, COVID, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I got a newborn, and I have a two year old, so every time we go to the doctor, and I mean, I even said on a couple episodes ago that uh, my wife went and she got the, you know, the the flu vaccine for them. And I was like, I was not livid, but, you know, I was a little upset. And, um, you know, thank God nothing, you know, has happened or will happen. So, but yeah, I mean, it's a tough situation. And if you want them to go to school, yeah. You know, switch switches to advocate. You know, we we all got shots when we were kids. <laughs> we all got shots, and you know, we turned out okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm not an advocate, but I just don't like the fear mongering. Like, oh, this is this is like the market of beast. You're gonna get a vaccine, but I am concerned about how fast they came out with the vaccine. Like these things take years. You know what I'm saying? We don't know the long term effects with the vaccine, so now what you know what i'm saying like two years down the line it's like didn't they do the same thing with like swine flu or something like that like they started mm-hmm. giving vaccines and then people were having like neurology um what do you call that neurological issues and um it affected them in some kind of way and then they had to stop the vaccine so um i mean we definitely we definitely gonna find out though um before it goes quote unquote public because i know uh, i did hear on the news it's going to be the first responders, right? So, like, the nurses, like, people who's, like, right. on duty dealing with this stuff, they're going to get it. Obviously, the older people who's in the hospital and, and this, kind, you know, probably take their life, they're going to be the first ones getting this this vaccine. And then it'll, and then it'll get distributed, you know, rightfully so to, to whoever else. So, I mean, we're going to find out from the first couple of people, so. Right. Yeah. We, but we might not find out for years to come. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see like the effects of it. Yeah, yeah. 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 We might not find that like you know. Man, you think. Another oh, concern is that is, bad. Yeah, and then another thing that's concerning too is that these companies are are um, exempt from liability. That's crazy. Um, wow. Yeah. You know, so it's like. That's crazy. Yeah. That's foul. <laughs> you yeah, know, that's what I mean? crazy. You forcing people to take this vaccine, but they're not held liable. They, right, and they're not held liable. You know, and you fa- fast tracked it too, so there's no telling. Yeah, seven months, right? Yeah, normally it takes like seven to ten years. Warp speed for yeah. real. I mean, and yeah, I know yeah. they were saying that that they kind of have like a because you know coronavirus is is not just this virus. Like they had the SARS and whatever other Corona type virus. So they kind of had that platform to build on. You know what I mean? This is different, though. This but is a it, different. Yeah, it's still a we, different we've never virus. done. We've never done a vaccine like this. Not not only 
not just talking about like the fast tracking it. I'm talking about like the type of vaccine that it is, because from what I understand from it, um, it attacks COVID cells, right? It attacks the proteins or something like that. Um, and then it creates new cells. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. So it's like a it's like a smart vaccine. We we've never done anything like that before. And and so now we fast track this. This is the first time this has been done, this yeah. type of vaccine. And then the, this the, these companies are, are uh, exempt from liability, man. I'm cool, and man. I'll go new, live. I'll go live in the woods somewhere. New yeah. cells, new cells yeah. is gonna create. Yeah, yeah. 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 it's gonna be some zombies out here. <laughs> like it doesn't yeah. even sound right. <laughs> that sounds like some umbrella corporation. Yeah, that sounds yeah. like something that came out of LexCorp, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think this is the first time where we we hear a lot. I hear a lot of people like, nah. I mean, I know with the flu shot, people were like, nah, I ain't getting the flu shot. Or I haven't gotten the flu shot in years. But this vaccine, everyone I know is like, nah. Like, Except I'm not you. getting it. It's always that one in every five. Hey, well, hey well, that's probably that's probably why they could say it's so successful because nobody want to take it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like <laughs> two people took it. They're like, look, it's 90% effective. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and not to get like all conspiracy theory or whatever, but ain't it crazy how this vaccine came from America and now being distributed to you know England or whatever? Like, don't they got their people, their scientists or whatever? Like, what makes us so special or better that isn't we came a, up with? Isn't with Pfizer that? Moderna? Aren't they global com- global? I mean, yeah, but aren't they American companies? Pfizer and they're shipping it to Pfizer's you know, in New York, right? Yeah, I'm I'm just saying, like, what do they have? Um, is there like a UK version of Pfizer or something? Well, they all know. were kind of like working together globally, I guess. You know, I mean the scientists were kind of going back and forth, like, yo, we got this, we got that. But this is For like you- one of the first times we hear like it's like it was it was like an arms race, like oh, whoever gets the vaccine first. Yeah, yeah, like the yeah. American virus. I mean the American vaccine, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it became a a, a a patriotic national thing, you know what I'm saying? Isn't right. it like three of the presidents are, are taking it live or something? And they're just gonna get what, what's that coming They gotta put oh, sugar water, water in their joint. Right? <laughs> 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 oh, that'll be so crazy, though. <laughs> it's like, yeah, we good, right, uh, man? <laughs> See, uh, that wasn't so hard, right? Oh, yeah, because yeah. the uh, UK prime minister was saying the same thing. Yeah. Like, y'all do it. On I, I think uh, Obama said it too that he he would take it like That's no problem. It was Obama, well, yeah, but didn't Obama was the one who took the Flint water? Right, but he really did drink that water though, and he nah, was like, "No way!" There's I mean, no way. Nah, he, he, took a, <laughs> he said, "No he took way." A sip. He, he did. <laughs> he wet his lips. He wet his lips. He didn't. He, he, he didn't drink that joint. <laughs> nah, but I'm just saying. But now, I'm, uh, what I mean is, they ain't give him no sugar water. You know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> they gave, they gave him the water. Cap. He was like, good. No bro. way. He was. Yeah. Nah, he nah, was nah, capping, nah. bro. Tastes good to me. He had you know, Bill Gates did that too. Did y'all see Bill Gates do that? What? With what? There's this there's this machine that 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 they uh, this is technology where it cleans like sewage water. Oh right? yeah, the little you know filter. That? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he drank he drank the cup of water. It was like it was like poop water, and, <laughs> and drank it. He's like, mm, good. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like, that never, never. <laughs> and dude, it, it filtered through his system fast. Yo, no, for real. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, Obama was one of them. Oh he said goodness. he was gonna do it. Him, Clinton, oh, I think was it Bush? Yeah, yeah, George Bush. Right? Yeah. Oh, he it said is. it too. Yeah. 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 No, they're but just saying like they were reporting it's gonna be like a, a spectacle. They, they have they, to. Go they live. have to. They have to convince the population that this is a safe drug because Trump already ordered a hundred million doses before before it was even finalized. He ordered a hundred million doses. So what are you going to do with all that? You know what I mean? Like Americans already bought it. So well, y'all better take it. Better, <laughs> hey, oh, Ain't no take, refund. Hey, yo, it's like the mom, Trump. right? When she cooks, you, uh, uh-huh. you got to eat it now. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. And it was funny yeah. is that the, the, the MAGAs were like, Oh, we shouldn't get the vaccine, but they man. Oh yeah, they're the they're oh, the biggest right. ones against the vaccine, but your president yeah. made it happen. Yeah. <laughs> he was pushing that joint all the way through 
He's like, yeah. we got it. It's gonna come out before the election, and then it came now out. the Democrats are trying to take to take take credit for it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I heard that was interesting is um, uh, John F. Kennedy's son, uh, Robert F. Kennedy. He's big against um a- anti-vax. He's yeah, like yeah. anti-vax, like heavy. Like he be in the right. streets, like he be trying to make things happen. He got a big movement supposedly. That's just uh-huh. like, and his whole thing is like, I'm not against vaccines. I'm just against. This the way vaccines. that this is working, you know what I mean? The way that they came out with this and how this he's like, nah, there's issues with this. Yeah, for sure. I mean, to to each to each their own, man. You know what I mean? But you should have the option. Like it shouldn't yeah. be something more like you're forced to take it. You know what I mean? Even even like like I, I get it where they're trying to like in, in, in a school setting where they want everybody be va- to be vaccinated because they want everybody to be safe or whatever. But what if I don't feel safe taking the vaccine? I shouldn't be forced to take it. And mm-hmm. if I'm not allowed to go to school because I don't have the vaccination or my kid doesn't have the vaccination, then let me opt out. Right. But that's not the case in Cali, like in, Ca- oh, in New York, too. But take your kids. Yeah. You, yeah. You can't you can't you don't have the option to not get the vaccination whatsoever. Any vaccination. That's crazy. Because yeah. I was a. Uh, I don't know if Riggs talked about it on the show, but I know he talked about it in the GTHU chat. Well, like they were he they weren't given any more like exemptions anymore. We don't have any more religious exemptions here in Cali either. Wow. I don't know how y'all stay there. <laughs> We're working. We're working. Because it's working. not 30 degrees. Yeah, that's what it is. We'll give up some rights for the weather. Give up some fact, rights for weather. Fact. Listen, Move I'm not Texas. vaccinated yet. Move to Texas, man. <laughs> Bro, oh man, yeah, that's pretty crazy. yeah, man. Just it's not that Texas is too mega for me. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> well, yo, you know, you know, you know what's hot right now? What's hot? My man Loso, man. Hey, yo, the hottest thing right now in battle rap right now, man. Yeah, man. I said it, killing it, it. Ooh, killing it, man. man. So Ooh. what's going on, Los? What you what you got, man? What you got going on? What you working on? Uh huh. Yeah, so um, you know, I'm obviously always constantly working on on music, not necessarily a project, but just always singles here and there. But as far as battle rap, what people primarily know me for, and and uh, mainly know me for, but I got a um, I don't know if y'all follow battle rap. I got a I got a battle with this guy named Chess. He's a big uh, yeah. star within you know URL whatnot. But he and I we locking in at the top of the year. I got this other joint out in Compton. Um, Oh yeah, I don't know how far you are from Compton, but I'm gonna be in Compton. I want to say maybe like two weeks. I oh, got a battle out there. Yep, I got a battle out there. Uh, so it's gonna be it's it's dope. But uh, but you know, just finishing off my 2020 strong. You know, what I'm saying thought I had a, a lot of great show. A lot, pretty much every performance was on my end. You know, a good performance that I, I kind of walked away with. But other than that, I'm gonna be um also filming uh a small movie i got casted for uh, i was reached out to by a company they wanted me to come out there and um so i'll be filming that at the top of january and also in la as well so oh, i kind of want to get my i kind of want to you know get my foot in the door with with some acting anyway it's not like i've always been i, I just it, just recently i've kind of gained an interest in Impossible. Yo, ride that wave, sort of especially acting. the doors are opening up for you. Yeah, man. yeah, 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 yeah. And then obviously, you know, um, all he's gonna all, be the Mexican so, gangster in the movies. <laughs> yo, they need a new one though, right? But um, <laughs> yeah, because it's um, always the same one. Same guy, same guy, bro. But uh, that's job security. Other, yeah, but you know, other than that, I've just been. Um, I don't know if y'all know, I'm a teaching pastor at my local assembly, so out here in, in Tampa, oh, and nice. um, yep. And so, you know, just been, you know, trying to stay faithful with that, man. That's dope. So, so, um, so yeah, I man. watched that battle with Chuck, with, with Chuck Booker. Yeah, Chuck Book. Yeah, Book. Book. Chuck Book. Book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was in Atlanta, right? That was, yeah, yeah. See, like those, like, like those battles, I kind of call them like paychecks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really <laughs> just, like, I like the competition. Yeah, like those, like at least for me, you know what I'm saying? If it's on URL or may, maybe another platform, a major platform, those are the ones that really are like, yo, I got to go win those. And so now it's kind of difficult, though, for the app, for the average just low social supporter because it's not on YouTube anymore. URLs transitioned 
to their own streaming service. So they got a URL right. app. So if you are, yeah. if you want to watch battles at the highest level, which is the NBA battle rap, it's you gotta now service. pay. Yeah, you gotta pay eight dollars a month, kind of like you know Netflix or something like that. And you get That's not bad you know, though, eight dollars a month. It's not nah. If you if you a battle rap fan, you know what I'm saying. You got to think about it. Smack's been yeah. provided. I mean, I don't know how long y'all been fought, but you know, I was like 13 watching yeah. the movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, Smack's been providing free content for us for years, and Mook so and now, Jay Mills. yeah, Mook and, you know that yeah. was I, bro. I, I remember vividly about that. So, but um, so now with the with the app, if you want to catch a, a Loso battle, you know you go there. But occasionally, I will go ahead and do a battle that does get dropped on YouTube. So I went to that Atlanta League. And um, you know, I stopped by, I did a one rounder with old boy, and so um it was cool though. It was cool. Yeah, killed him. So yo, I always I always had this thing, right? Like, how do y'all remember y'all lyrics? Word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you guys so. remember that whole what is it? Sometimes it's like three minutes straight, right? Like well, so each round. You- at least you at least yeah, yeah. it's it's gonna be three three thirty you know what I'm saying I try to write at least three minutes and three 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 thirty every round so you at least up there for about ten minutes you know what I'm saying and um you gotta you gotta memorize at least ten minutes of material and then not only are you memorizing the material but you memorizing any kind of like movement or action that you did with the material then you gotta memorize it in front of people around you then mm-hmm. old boy and his entourage behind them kind of like you know heckling you and stuff so um right. for me I, I mean i think you could do it too though bro like I, I like i felt there was at one point when i had just started rapping people were kind of were, were kind of like pushing me towards battle rap and they were like yo we think you'd be good over here and i was like nah bro i can never memorize i said the same thing yo i can never do that i would never yeah. be able to memorize all that material and perform it like that and um but i used to do like these um uh, these open mics for these like spoken words and my mannerisms would be that of a battle rapper. And so um, one day I had the opportunity to uh, try out for a battle league. And I just really, I try to tell people, I'm like, yo, I wish the story was, yo, I'm going to go ahead and infiltrate this culture for Jesus. And I'm going to go ahead and, and, and just be a light in a dark place. But that originally wasn't my intent. It was really just to kind of scratch off a bucket list thing mm-hmm. that I just had for myself. But when I went in there, and obviously I'm a Christian, so I, I'm I'm rapping with a, a Christian worldview, and 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 this is kind of what's influencing my lyrics. Just like you know, it, it always has as far as my music. Um, the ripple effects after I had came off that stage the first time, um, I had looked around and I said, "Yo, I couldn't, I, I, like, I wouldn't be able to stop doing this even if I wanted wow. to, because I knew that there was like a unique." Um, Man, I don't. I don't even want. I, I tend to. I, I want to shy away from the word calling, but I mean, end up coming. End up becoming that. But it was like almost like this. Like, like all the doors are kind of like pointed for me to kind of you know mm-hmm. go into this into this uh, avenue. And so, um, that's that's what it was, man. You know, I, I don't know. So when you was like, grinding, you was trying to be like the big chh ministry artist <laughs> kind of thing nah, not even bro look I'm, a, I'm gonna go ahead and say this and i'm not just saying this because i'm on this podcast bro you know i already told you so i don't know if your boys know this stuff bro you know <laughs> i was trying to be the next switch bro like, I, oh, like I don't know if y'all, look yo switch is the go chh look, down look, i'm gonna be look, 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 i gotta hear this story i gotta hear this story be real with y'all i'm gonna be real make sure you hit the subscribe chat the subscribe button yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Look, the only reason, I mean, I, I mean okay. the reason why Loso's even on this podcast, the reason why the Lord, um, not the reason why the Lord saved, but the, but the way that the Lord used um, Switch to, to save me, bro, I was like, I was literally, I, I had to be like 15, 15, 16 years old, maybe. And um, I had just started um, being around Christian things. I didn't really like get saved. I would say to like you know maybe like eighteen, nineteen. But um, I just remember uh, uh, being part of a a church um, out in Tampa called Tampa Bay Tabernacle, and they were a sister church of of Brooklyn Tabernacle. I don't know if y'all familiar with Brooklyn Tabernacle. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In New York, and so. Um, you know, I, you know, on my space back in the day, you know, like you would go on somebody's page and you would just hear some music or whatnot. And, um, man, there was like this, like, there was this New York movement that was just hidden. For it. They weren't cross movement. They weren't reach records, 
but I was fascinated on my computer and I was like, yo, who are these guys? So I don't know, if, I, I don't even know how, if y'all know where Switch was at the time, but Switch, you could kind of like chime in, but like, they were like these guys like you, uh, there was a guy ADF. named Daniel Johnson. Daniel Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Daniel Johnson. There was um, Magellan Jazz at the time. Yeah, the whole um, ADF I, movement. You know what I'm Corey saying? Like, Red. I can't. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, but Switch stood out to me. One, I mean, you know, I saw this Latino brother. I say, he loved Jesus. And uh, I remember he was, like, heavy on Paul Washer, who eventually I ended up listening to a Paul Washer sermon because you were referencing him in your songs. Wow. wow. And, Good little and, he, and so when it happened... <laughs> So no lie, I listened to a song that he did. Um, yo, I still yo. Th- look, look, this is how crazy it is, bro. Um, uh, I, yo, yo so you remember like the you bars, remember this, bro? I, yo, I met this girl. She don't look like an actress, but she <laughs> love God. That's what made her attractive. Uh, I think Listen security was the thing that we. Yeah, security was the thing that we yo. practiced. I never thought that we could backslide from a tap kiss because a tap kiss turned to us hugging each other. Then the hug with that turned to us touching each other. You see, it all started when we stopped doing group dates. Didn't get no better when she moved into her new place. I started chilling at a crib for too late, bringing over my socks, my boxes, and my toothpaste. We sent it so much. We sent it so much. I'm beginning to lose faith. I'm beginning to question whether she's my true mate. And I don't know if it's love or lust, but it feels like there's no hope for us. Now I'm questioning whether it's God's will, whether it's God's heels, or anybody spell how I feel. Classic. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> to this day, you got to think about it, bro. Bro, I, I don't even person. remember that rap. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but it, but but that's yours though, right? Yeah, yeah. Bro, you gotta think about it, bro. I was, bro. I must have been like 15, 16 years old hearing this, and like I remember at the time, like the Lord was drawing me. But you know, like I was, I, I had a girlfriend at the time, and she, you know, obviously we was I'm struggling doing all, yeah. yeah. And so like when you rap that verse, I was just like, yo, this cat rapping about testimony right now, bro. Yes. But yeah. uh, but on his whole project, it was just these um. He 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 would sample Paul Washer sermons in there, and I was just like, Yo, "Who's this? Who's this pastor?" So I ended up finding out. But later on, um, maybe maybe a couple of years ago, I finally listened to a Paul Washer sermon. I was just sitting down, and um, and yo, no lie, like he was just preaching on the holiness of God, and I and and, you, and this is how this is how uh, this is how regeneration works, man. This is how like your salvation works. Like you could hear the gospel several times, but when it's the time when the Holy Spirit mm, wakens you up, man, I remember man. it was it was just different this time. I had heard that Jesus came and, and lived and died and resurrected on the third day and he sits at the right hand. Of, I've heard that before, but like this day, everything was clicking. And so when it clicked for me, um, I just, I, this is something, it was, it was silly. I mean, it's silly to me now, but this was a, a product of it. I just remember hearing it. And the first thing I did, I got up, went to my room, and I grabbed all my uh my Jay Z and Nas albums, bro, and I threw it in the trash. Wow. <laughs> That's how, and and I remember my I remember my mother. She was just like, she started crying. You know, like you know uh, Hispanic mm. women. You know what I'm saying? They were always. I mean, Hispanic moms. They were just like if they were heavy in church. They were just like, yo, secular she music, is the devil, yada yada, boom, yeah. And and so for me, that was like uh that was a first step. But it was something of just like, yo, Jesus, whatever you wanted me to do, I was gonna do. And so, um, I was heavy. I was I was he- like. I tell people, I t- before I even just found out where Switch, like he just popped up in the same group chat I was in one day. And I was just like, yo, who is this guy? And um, <laughs> I, and I told him, I said, yo, I don't know if you know this, bro, but like the reason I'm saved today is because the Lord, you know, drew me to your music, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I heard the gospel and stuff. So um, that's what it was, man. When I, when, when I became a Christian, you heavily influenced me, man. And, you Amen. know, um, and, and you that's, you know. Me. Yeah, and, and and everything comes full circle, man. So that's you know for me, Thanks, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you know, I know you probably don't feel like you Lecrae or or the truth or nothing like that, but that's who you are to me. You know what I'm saying. So mm. I always like pay respect wow. to you, no matter what level of 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 quote unquote stardom I get to. Like, I know like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your ministry, bro. Amen. Praise God, God, man. Appreciate Praise that. God. That yeah. is that's dope. a testimony to everybody out there that's doing the Lord's work. You know what I mean? And now. You know, God, God is moving in the, in this, in this realm, in this, in this music, you know what I'm saying? And I know you probably, you probably was even at a point where you was like, you know, you ain't even know somebody in Tampa was listening to your music. You know what I'm saying? I'm all the way in Tampa, <laughs> Florida, and I'm like did putting it. everybody on, bro. I'm like, yeah. yo, you gotta listen to this dude. Yo, he this, he this, he this. I think you had, man, you had a track called Golden Calf, bro, that like Golden changed Calf, my life. Yeah. That's what had, um, you know what I'm saying? that's what had the Paul Washer sample. 
He's you know, like, we gotta get so, serious about God. <laughs> yeah. But you, but you see, like, you see me even even being able to still recite the verse that lets you yeah, know I ain't up here just lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, is, you know the verse more than me. I, I, I don't remember <laughs> that verse. I pretty Send me sure that track, verse, yo. Send me that track. <laughs> I don't even have it though. I don't, I don't have it, bro. It's just nah, here. You know, you know, with me, um, we did a lot of ministry. You know what I mean? We started with uh, warfare camp, um. And then we moved into like uh, A Omega Global Military, which was Voss's joint. And then, um, Shout out the boss. you know, the thing was like the the lyrics that I was rapping were real. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when I kind of fell into that because then I got you know I got overly righteous. I got into the Paul Washer stuff, and but then I didn't mm-hmm. know how to control that and yeah, yeah, yeah. still be loving and still be you know what I mean. Same. I same. started with the no, oh, we need the you know what I mean. Like getting mm-hmm. and it was too so much that it was like. Then I slipped and fall, and then it was like embarrassment for me. It was like, mm-hmm. wow, like how did I even end up here? Like, I've been mm-hmm. preaching this holiness stuff. I've been preaching about this. And I was just like overly righteous. That's why when people see me now, I'm kind of more like laid back, more grace. More grace, you know yeah. I mean? Because mm-hmm. I know what it is to be on some, you know what I mean? And it's like, mm-hmm. yo, when you get that humble, that, that, and I'm not saying that you know, that the Lord wants you to sin, but I'm saying sin humbles you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 that does. holiness and you fall into something that people didn't expect. You know what I mean? I got people around me that were like, not you, like, nah, mm. how could you, you know what mm. I'm saying? Nah, switch, like, nah, never. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. they would never expect that. And maybe some people feel like I was fake about it. Maybe other people don't, but you know, I messed up and I had to repent and then come back. You know what yeah. I mean? I had years off, but you know. Yo, and I and and, and there was there was a time where I was like, I'm, I'm googling at? you, bro. I'm like, yo, where is he, bro? I need a, I need another pro. I need another verse. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, obviously, you know, I end up finding you. End up telling me, yo, you had to take a break off or whatnot. But um, and actually, you know, I think I ran into uh. Richard Dolphin. You know Richard Dolphin? Yeah. He actually yeah. told me something. Similar. He's like, yo, Loso said he, he checked you out, but he didn't say break it down like obviously how oh, you did. Nah, mm-hmm. Yeah, I told Rich. I said, Rich, like, tell this, like, if you know this cat, you know, like, just tell him, like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Just, just thank you. But, uh, but yeah, man, that's, you know, that's, that's the, so, so originally, so uh, back to your original question, you know, was, what was I trying to be? I was really just writing verses at the time. And, um, when they, you know, when this opportunity, I don't know if y'all remember, there was a Rapzilla 16 bar challenge out in 2013 and it was done in legacy conference. And so, um, a bunch of different rappers went in and I was just this, I was this new guy, right. I had just started writing and, um, gemstones was in it, uh, Braille. Um, he was in it at the time. Um, I want to say uh, my boy Street Hymns. Um, there was there was some there was some dope rappers in it. You know, they yeah. end up making the final. They end up name. making the yeah. They end up making the final list, right? Because hundreds of people all over the country were trying to submit to get into this bracket, and only ten people were chosen. And I submitted a verse, and it got chosen. So I go up there. They take us to Chicago, and um, this is my first time ever doing something like this, bro. And Jen was Jen was one of the judges, and um, and yo, no Thank lie, you. man. I ended up, um, you know, it's on Rapzilla, it's on the Rapzilla YouTube channel. And bro, like by God's grace, I ended up winning the whole tournament, bro. And, wow. and when I won that tournament, that's when people were like, okay, okay, you know, this is, you know, this is what, this is what you should be doing. Jen came up to me. He said like, yo, if anybody should be doing it, it should be you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Wow. And so, uh, that kind of pushed me towards, towards it more. And so, um, you know, my, I, I just, I, and even, and even when I joined battle rap, it just felt like every single opportunity along the way was like the Lord, like putting me in the perfect position to elevate. Like he, he put me in places where like I can exceed expectations. And so, uh, that's where, that's where I'm at now, man. Still just trying to be faithful and, and, you know, and, and still remember, like, that's why I'm, I'm glad I'm on this podcast. Cause it, it, it reminds me like, why did I even start doing this in the first place? Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, that Rapzilla, I think that's how I first came uh, to knowing about you and then yeah. following you as you go on. And I mean, I watch your, your, your battle raps and all that, but I want to ask um, when you're there and, you know, obviously, you know, people are looking at your mannerisms and all that. Yeah. And um, I saw some people that were, this is like old stuff, but they were like, Oh, you, you're kind of like cocky in a, in a sense. Right. Yeah, 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 but, yeah. but, what was stood out to me is like 
Well, the other dudes is like you always saying in your raps, like it's always the same thing. It's always the gum bars. It's yeah, always yeah, the stuff, yeah. but you came, yeah. you flipped it and all that stuff. So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. well, what we yeah. want the same thing over and over. So how yeah, do yeah. you, you know, uh, what do you say to people like that? That, that Man, so you know what? Rap? It's so crazy, bro. And I, I, every time I meet somebody for the first time, they always tell me that. They always like, yo, Los, I swear on everything, bro. Like, I thought you were super cocky, super prideful. Like, I'm glad I met you. And it's always like, to me, it's kind of like Mamba. I'm just like, yo, I don't know what that means because I can understand if I'm just like wilding out and like, yo, you know, forget you. I'm not doing a track with you. I'm not like, I try to make sure I make time for anybody who reaches out. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, um, and I don't, cause I don't ever want to be, I don't ever want to be that guy like that. You know what I'm saying? But, and just, I was just in Miami, bro. And, and some guy told me that he was like, man, I thought you were going to be this. And I thought you, so it, it, it's confusing me. But in regards to like the, the battle rap and the fans and stuff, you got to understand something, man. When you are, um, when you're a Christian and you're doing something in excellence, whatever it is, right. They want to go ahead and, and find fault. Like, aha, I, I, I knew it. I knew you don't really believe in mm. what you think. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, which obviously causes us to to make sure that, you know, you know, I need, I need accountability around me. I need, I need this. Um, uh, I need to make sure that, I am, for, for lack of better words, right, um, I'm, I'm keeping a right conduct amongst the Gentiles, right? And so uh, anybody who's not believing in the Lord. But um, for me, whenever I'm in that, that situation, I tell people, whenever you watch a YouTube battle uh, of Loso, don't, don't use that battle and be like, look, this is his ministry. That's, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Mm. Like, I'm talking, like, bro, I'm trying to tell you, these battle rappers, bro, like, um, I done bailed some of these guys out, you know, from, from jail. I done, uh, been on the phone with them while they're going through a divorce. I mean, like I said it in one of my lines, like, you know, like what y'all know about this dude, like anybody, any one of my opponents, like they diss me in public, but in private, when they need prey, I'm the first one they call like yeah. all the time, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah, so right. that's not, that's True. not to throw it back in their face, but it's to let you know, like this right here, this is WWE. This is, this is, this is wrestling. You know what I'm saying? This right. is all fun. Right. Like, like these dudes are really broken people, man, just like you and I. And and that's what they want to know. They want to know like, okay, my picture of Jesus, all I've known is that one, it's either this this white man's religion, right? Like it's it's mm-hmm. only for the for you know for the white man and, and brown and, and black people. They don't really get down with it. Or um like he he can't do something for me or I gotta be perfect or something like that. So when I meet them and I go to, you know, I go to a bar with them or I, or I sit down and have lunch with them or I go watch a game and they they see this guy and they're like, okay, yo, he looks like me. He talks like me. He dresses like me. Um, and he and he cares about what I'm going through. That changes their whole perspective, bro. And um, I've seen, I, I mean, I wish I had like several stories of people just falling on their face, um, you know, and, and repenting, but that's not the case. You know what I'm saying? Like you and I know, uh, salvation is a long pro. I mean, not salvation, but but sanctification is a long process. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like these right. guys are like it, it, it's messy. The Christian walk is messy, and it, and it looks like this sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like you have yeah. great days, you have great months, and um, these guys though, bro, I'm I'm just happy to be a part, and they all have my number. There isn't one opponent that I have that I'm not good friends with. Um, so wow. whatever you see on stage, you know, just know after the battle, like. I've built relationships with them. I'm um, one of my most famous battles, you know, against B Dot. Um, you know, he's he's definitely anti Christian, but like yeah. he and I are constantly on the phone talking about Jesus and 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 who he is, and and we're going back and forth. But then on top of that, you know, we're talking about his relationship, you know, uh, with his with his wife and 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 his kids, and 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 for me, like how can I be assistance of that, and me also being transparent about things that I'm going through, and so, you know. When when you got when you know the power of the gospel, bro, like you ain't gotta sweat none of the other stuff, bro. You know, mm-hmm. like yo, right. you preach that, and the Holy Spirit's gonna do the rest. Like, like you gotta really believe Romans 1 16. I know it's a popular phrase within our genre, right. but like <laughs> the gospel is the power of God. That's you, you that life, death, resurrection message, you know what I'm saying? Like what Jesus came to do, you preach that, you let that do the work, and you go to sleep after that, comfortable, knowing like yo. It's not my eloquent speech. It's not me, my follow-up methods and, and doing this and that and the mm-hmm. third. It's really 
Jesus, the Holy Spirit, man, and and how and and he's gonna he's gonna get his people, bro. And and you don't gotta you ain't gotta worry about that. So um, but yeah, whenever I know I, I kind of strayed off a little bit from the original question, but you know, whenever okay. I'm on stage, man, I, I I take it with the territory. I understand, like you know, they obviously gonna attack me to this day, bro. I still get trolls on Twitter, still get trolls <laughs> um on, on, on Instagram. It's crazy, you know. Well, just you know like, what's bro, you know what's dope is like. I heard, and I don't know who said this the other day. They were like, "When you when you have a hundred dollar bill, right, and you want to tell the difference between a fake one and a real one, you just got to know what that hundred dollar bill, that real hundred dollar bill, look like. You don't got to worry about what them fake hundred dollar bills mm-hmm. look like, because mm-hmm. it's gonna be different fake hundred dollar bills. But if you know that real one hundred dollar bill, you know, oh, sure. this is a one hundred dollar bill, that and that's the same that thing. You focus on Christ. Bars. Focus on Christ, and everything else that comes around is like, all right, well, that's that's gonna be on the wayside. That's not, you know what I mean? So that's a fact. Man. That's what I hear from you. Like, yo, I'm focused on this mission, and y'all gonna either get with it or y'all gotta get out the way. That's it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I mean, they, you know, they obviously they gonna curb the standard for me. Like, I heard some people's like, oh, you know, why you gotta be proud? I'm like, yo, you just heard old boy in his in his battle rap he was just like yo he gonna smash my girl and he gonna shoot i said like that's not proper to you i said you know but that's you know job, of course though. right that's the job you yeah. know what i mean like y'all yeah, he in there to do that. a job you know what i'm saying yeah like, yeah yeah it's like acting you're gonna act one way but you know who you are after you leave yeah, that set yeah the crazy thing is though you know i mean i don't know if y'all how much of my career y'all follow like but but that's still there's still a like there's certain things i won't say you know what i'm saying like there's certain things i won't do there's certain things i so it's not like I'm, I'm like, there's a difference. Like, you know, you have, there's like, it's crazy. Cause you have Muslim battle rappers, you have mm-hmm. like uh, these other religions or whatnot, but like, they all still, you can't tell the difference. You know what I'm saying? And so there's something unique about you know, when you call yourself a Christian and, and if you're truly, you know, obviously if the Lord's truly saved you, you want to go ahead and, and kind of show like there's this separation, not to be on some like, yo, I'm better than you, but the separation of, okay right. um this is why i don't do certain things and so and i gotta i got you know it's it's trust me it's difficult but that's why i try not to be dolo whenever i'm out there you know and, yeah. and obviously y'all all around the country so you know i'm, I'm gonna make sure we connect after this and so whenever i'm in y'all city yeah. and i got a battle definitely yeah, you know, for sure, for y'all, sure. y'all good with Facts. me you know what i'm saying so now but you know I what i've seen also Chris. seen like like there's there's a there's a different standard with christian battle rappers that like like you just pointed out like mm-hmm. When you when you battle like I, I just saw the the B dot and Geechee against um you and A Ward right yeah and um like they were trying to tell you like oh you a Christian and you you talking about you know you you talking gun bars or whatever whatever yeah, yeah, but they yeah. never say that to the Muslims or the Kemets or you know what I mean any <laughs> anybody else like they only say that to the Christians you know what I'm saying yeah 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 <laughs> and so you know I mean like I said bro so so for instance nobody nobody in the NBA is worried about DeMar DeRozan. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's nobody's going over their, their training camp and they're like, okay, this is what we need to do to beat DeMar DeRozan. There's one guy that you need to focus on beating every year, mm-hmm. LeBron James. You know what I'm saying? Let's you get go. LeBron, because he is the, the, the and I'm, you know, like like he is the the top, right? The like that's the guy that mm-hmm. you got to get through. So right. like, that's the same thing with Christianity. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like ain't no other religion that's really like, Right. bothering you. You got to think about it. The reason why nobody's going to say anything about Kemet, the reason why nobody's going to say about Muslim is because their worldview doesn't cause any problems for what you've been doing day to day. Mm-hmm. But if right. Jesus is real, if Jesus really rose from the grave, then we having a different you conversation of how right. you, yeah, right. you know what I'm saying? And so that's why like they understand he is, um, when we say his name, when we say what he's done, when we say why we're here, it it, it causes something in them to kind of be like, all right, cool. I need to go ahead and attack that because I automatically feel attacked, even though you're not really saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? But so I'm not shocked at that, man. You know what else was dope? I saw a live. I saw you with math and yeah, y'all were talking about um, basically his history in battle rap and your knowledge yeah. of battle rap was like, mm-hmm. Yo, this dude's like he's been watching for a long time, bro. Studying tapes. Yeah. And like is I that said, something though, that you're you know, gonna get into? Like more interviews with 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 other guys, go- um, other rappers. To. So yeah, so I was out there. Um, so did y'all watch Matt Hoffa versus Nicky Jam? It just dropped. I did, and I was gonna ask you about that. <laughs> okay. 
Somebody saying that you ghost wrote for for Nicky Jam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's like, there's no way Nicky Jam came that? up with them bars like that. <laughs> Yo, who, who said that? They Nikki saying Jam? that on Twitter. Somebody said that. It was a Yo, comment. Yeah, no, it was so yeah. crazy. You know, I dropped so a promo in the though. chat. I've been getting like so many like tweets and messages about that, bro. Like one dude yesterday, he wrote me, he was like. Yo, congrats on beating Math Hoffa. I was like, what? I was like, I never battled Math. I was like, oh. Okay. But he's been, he's been battling for years too, though, hasn't he? Like from, from what well, I understand Math, from his story. Yo, Math, Math is Math is one of them them guys. He's no, no. I meant Nikki. I know Math. I know Math is, but oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I, I meant I meant Nikki Jams. So Nikki, if so, there's an interview on YouTube right now with Math Hoffa on his podcast, and um, and he's explaining like, yo, I've. Like I've been, I've been a fan of battle rap, you know what I'm saying? Wow. And so, um, you had a pick with him recently, right? I wasn't, yeah, yeah, I was in the I think that's why they him, make man. the correlation. Like, yo, you know, he lives, you know, he lives in Miami. Nah. So yeah. yeah so he don't live too far. So, you know, I, I connected with him and what well, <laughs> y'all still, <laughs> you know, I connected with him and whatnot. So, you know, we, I mean, that's my guy, but, uh, but with the, with the joint with math, you know what I'm saying? I linked up with math and, um, I mean, that's always been my, that's always been my dude, but, uh, you know, we get to have good conversations. So that night, you know, I was just out with him and we were just talking about life. And so I was like, man, you know what, let me just turn this, this, this IG on. And, uh, so, um, you know, started interviewing him and what, cause I was actually, we were just having a casual conversation about the stuff we were talking about. Right. And he said, no, I said, I think I might have said, yo, man, I wish I would have had this on online or something like that. And he said, yo, turn it on. So yeah, it was an yeah. epic moment because I was yeah, getting yeah. like the background of like, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because we just see the show. We don't yeah, know the yeah, other yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't know about the rappers getting robbed and, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, even though math has been paid. math has been a couple things publicly. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but behind the scenes, you know, we don't know how much they're getting paid and, and, That's a fact. and, and That's a fact. all those other things. And it was it was cool to see that man, and then we found out that you ghost wrote for Nicky Jam, so that's, that's even crazy. crazy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, guy go that's front like, exclusive. Nicky K. Wall. Nicky was wilding on man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's yo, it's so crazy because yo, John John was just on the phone with me, bro, and he was just saying that same thing. I was like, yo, are you serious? <laughs> but you know, Latinos, the world may together, the world the world may never know, right? <laughs> <laughs> yo, you know what though? I do um once I, I I you know I saw what you did and saw your battles and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um it blew my mind, right? That you mm. you were stepping into these areas, you know what I'm saying? Where it's you know, it's no holds bar, you know what I'm saying? Everything goes, mm. you know what I'm saying, but not for you, you know what I'm saying? Cause you already yeah, know yeah. you got you got your standards and what you what how you gonna go in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and still murder them. I mean, like yo, so, and, and, yo, and, and it'll like I'll be trying to tell people like. Like some of the battle rappers, they'll tell me they was like, "Yo, I don't know how y'all do it. Like y'all don't curse, y'all don't say this." That's, y'all man, don't say that. that's like, my next question. That? It makes it harder. <laughs> it's like it's it's, yo, it is because you got to think about it. I mean, I'm, I'm yeah. gonna just say this right. Like, if I could just say, um, man, I don't know how many view what views y'all got. If I just say the B word, right, or like yeah. you know, if I was saying what, like I could just you can just use that as a noun for really anything. Right, that's like, so easy. <laughs> it it opens, yeah, it opens your, not even your your vocabulary. It just opens the the options that you go ahead and and make a punchline out of something. And so for me, I'm like almost uh, what's the word I want to use? Like handicapped a little bit. And, yeah. But uh, but yo, I mean, I go in there and I just feel like I, you know, I'm I'm still like this, bro. I, I like my cousins. Um, they'll be watching my battles with some other dudes and. And they'll be like, yo, he just won this battle and he ain't say one curse. Like, they they just, they can't even compute mm-hmm. that in their mind. Right. they see old boy on top, you know, he just barking and stuff like that. But, um, but yeah, it, you know, obviously there's no whole bars for, uh, for them, for them cats or whatnot, but, um. But I know, think I, it, I, I think it opens you up though, right? Like it brings your creativity out, your creativity out more. Cause now oh, you really gotta yeah. be. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like you, you got to be real witty with it. You know what I'm saying? You got to, man. You got to. That's why I, I mean, the, you know, I feel like 
I feel like the not just me, but you know the 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 other three guys that I um the that I'm in battle rap man. with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like I, I think I think I, I, I just I say this in the most humble way. I feel like we're, we're some of the best ones in the world. You know what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. you'll hear people say, mm-hmm. uh, you know, A War is one of the best. Saga is one of the best. Loso is is the best right now. Or Street, you know what I'm saying. So like we'll be in those conversations. But I think as a group, you know, you got to put us in that conversation with the best. And and I think when it's all said and done. And you doing a documentary on battle rap, obviously you gonna go through the murder moves, you're gonna go through, you know, uh even today, like the Geechee Gotties and 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 whoever's at the top of the game, but like you're gonna have to do a segment when the, you know, when these four Christians came mm-hmm. in here and was mm-hmm. wrecking shop, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, and they were jumping in in leagues and 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 going overseas and and winning battles with, you know, and they were being unashamed because we're not the first Christians to battle, but I would say we're the first, I, I'm, I'm and I wanna be politically correct but i would say that we are the first unashamed christians to be on the biggest platforms in the world you know what i'm saying like yo right. we here for jesus and this is what we gonna do type of thing right yeah how did GNC, it, it seemed like documentary yeah. <laughs> for real it seemed like all y'all came at like once right it was almost like so saga saga was the first one right saga saga was in and uh, being in New York, which is the mecca of battle rap, um, you you have that luxury. So he was around um, like the right situation. And Saga, uh, when he came in, they had uh, linked a deal with BET. So URL put Saga on BET and, and he was part of uh, like this first um, class to kind of like showcase their talent to the world and stuff. So uh, that was in, I want to say maybe 2014 for Saga, where... Um, and Street Hymns had joined Battle Rap at the same time, but he was out in Texas. Mm. And so the next year, myself and A-Ward came and we, we all separate. Like, like none of us were doing life with each other. None of us were talking and not like that. And so the next year, myself and A-Ward came and it was it was dope, too, because at first, none well, of us did, were. Did you know it. did you know about Saga and everybody else? Or you had no clue? I only knew. So I knew Street Hymns because remember, uh, Street Hymns was in that Rapzilla tournament that I talked about earlier. Yeah, yeah. And which was crazy because Street Hymns was my first opponent on that Rapzilla tournament. So, okay. um, yeah. So, you know, I, I, to this day, I, I throw it in his face that I, I beat him in a battle. So, <laughs> but, but uh, he's like, no, you won't let me let that down. But um, so. I have uh so I had a I had a relationship with Street Him somewhat. Mm-hmm. And then you had Saga who had knew of me. He had knew of me because of the rap sort of thing, but we didn't really know each other. And then A Ward, I never heard of. I never heard of, but the other guys did. And so when we joined Battle Rap, we were all in different situations. I was in Florida, one was in Texas, one was in Kansas City, one was in New York. And then we got into different leagues on top of that. And so um, like we never kind of like stepped on each other's toes and it wasn't on purpose it was just it just right. ended up being that way and then um street hymns put us in a group chat one day because he had a relationship with all three of us he put us in a group chat one day and we were just talking and we were just like yo let's just join a group and at first we was just like let's just join a group just to just to form a group but when we did it the world i felt like that was the best thing bro because they, mm-hmm. they didn't want to see all these different christians on on different platforms they wanted to see us kind of like united, battle each other like Oh. They wanted they wanted us to battle each other. That's exactly yeah. what they were. But but then there was like obviously the body wanted us to to be with each other and kind of right. like you know um, oh, infiltrate wrong. the culture. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So and that's what ended up occurring, man. So I think we 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 kind of got into a group maybe around 2017. I want to say, that's and dope. then uh, since then, you know, uh, it's 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 been crazy. How do you how do you handle losses when you when you lose or if you man, lose? So, yeah, yeah. So I battled maybe, uh, man, I want to, I just put this up. I think I battled, I'm going on 40 battles, going on 40 battles, right? In <clears throat> what, five years, four years? Wow. Um, since like 2016, I would say. Um, there's only, there's only two times I got off stage and I felt like I lost. And it's yeah. really only one that I really lost. And that one to this day, you know, I just tell people like, yo, that's to me, I beat myself. You know what I'm saying? Like I, yeah. I, I took the battle last minute. So Julio Jones from the Atlanta Falcons, he was throwing a Super Bowl uh, event. So I get contacted to go ahead and be on this event. And, and it was last minute though. And then on top of that, you know, the business aspect, people don't really understand. Like there's a, there's a huge business aspect to it. So like for me, like if you want to book also, like there's a certain price, you know what I'm saying? And there's a certain time frame in which you got to get the money 
took me, my deposit at least, for me to start writing. Well, all that was back, all that was like taking a while. And so all jokes aside, like I really didn't have, I probably had maybe four days of writing and memorizing wow. uh, at least five minutes of material. So in my mind, I felt like I could do it though. I was like, yeah, hey, I could do that. And I, I wasn't able to. And so um, when I go up there, I choke, forget my material. He goes, he starts wilding and spazzing. I felt like it was a lot of gas too in, 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 the, in the building. But you know, uh, yeah. I don't try to take away nothing from that. But um, so that was my first time ever. You got to think about it. There was a narrative where it was like, yo, Loso's never lost. So when that happened, oh, bro, the world was just ready to go ahead and kill me. <laughs> my Twitter was like, like they were, they were, they were killing me for weeks, bro. And, um, and it'll be similar to he wasn't as popular, right? Like him. Oh, no, no, no. He was. He was. Oh, he, he, was, was? he was. He was probably he was probably more popular than me. You know what I'm saying? Oh. But the thing How about it, though, is, bro, I felt like. Like I was I was just like, yo, how did I let this happen? Why did I let this happen? I, I, I shouldn't have even took in this battle. You know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't wasn't prepared or nothing like that. But um, I felt like I wanted to to quit. But um not necessarily quit, but just kind of just fall back. Cause I was just like, yo, that's, that's how y'all like, I done, I done gave y'all 25 battles. <laughs> yeah. I done gave y'all 25 battles of flawless performances. You know what I'm saying? Like arguably un- that's the, the narrative was like, yo, Los was undefeated. You know what I'm saying? Like no one's ever this, that, and the third. And so when that happened, they just wanted to go and say, Oh, see, I knew he wasn't as good as he was. Mm. You suck. Yeah. You know, all this stuff. And so, it's similar to like, kind of like, you know, I mean, I can only imagine what Nate Robinson was going through when he got knocked out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he mm-hmm. actually, and granted, that's on a, that's hundred times a different mm-hmm. scenario than what, what I'm on in a bigger platform. But when, when your fan base is kind of just like clowning you and, and all that stuff, you know, and then on top of that, it was kind of discouraging too, because you saw, you know, I'm opening up my social media and I'm seeing like, brothers you know christians like other dudes that you know i'm laboring with and you know what's up and so like them kind of almost it seemed like they were taking joy at at my downfall Mm -hmm. at the time and so um i had to just put things in perspective i was like man this is entertainment bro you know this is what it was but i also made a i also made it my business that that would never happen again i was like yo that'll (laughs) never happen again like so since then I've been on a tear and, you know, 2020, like, I mean, I've, everything that's been in front of me has been, you know, scorched. So it, it wasn't, that's, that's just my, that's just my mindset. But regardless, if it doesn't, cause I know, you know, there's going to be days where, you know, this the dude across from me is just a better man. So, um, you know, I, I just, I just want to keep the main thing, the main thing and, and obviously stay focused on, on right. why I'm doing what I'm doing. So, wow. That's Yo, deep insight, man. I was going to say, um, Cause it's going back to what I was saying about how you go in there and you do mm-hmm. your thing as you know as being a Christian. So the fact that you're in these environments, you know what I'm saying? What I what I like is that you like you said, what we kind of what we alluded to earlier was that it makes it cool, you know what I'm saying? Like it brings mm-hmm. for Christians to be like, yo, we could do that. You know what I'm saying? That's another mm-hmm. thing that can be done. Like, yo, we could battle yeah, it. So, yeah, yeah. And I say that to say because I was showing my son. I say, yo, you know, I was showing that because he likes, you know, I'm trying. Well, it's my stepson. I call him my son, of course. Yeah. But mm-hmm. he, um, you know, I'm trying to get him away from that crap that he listens to now. Course, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yo, you know, what I'm saying? And, 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 and I, like I introduced him to Jerry Sanders. Right. I was like, yo, listen to him. Duke is spit. Listen to him. You know what I'm saying? Right. But I was like, yo, you could they dudes could battle rap, too. Mm. So I pulled I pulled you up. And it was the the battle with B Dot, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. right? With you and A War going back and forth, yeah, which was crazy. My on y'all uh, Styles and Jada type going back and forth, yeah, 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 but I, yeah. I was showing them that, and I was like, "Yo, look, you know what I'm saying?" Dude was amazed, like his eyes lit up, oh. and he was <laughs> like, "Yeah," you know what I'm saying, listening, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Yeah," he he turned looking at me, and he, he you know what I'm saying, he watched the whole thing because dude's attention span is terrible. But yeah, you know, yeah, it was going on for a minute, and he was shocked. But I enjoyed that I could pull that up and show him, like, "Yo, right. yeah. watch that." You know what I'm saying? Like you can mm-hmm. see. I mean, obviously the mother dudes they was ODing. Going they at you, too. yeah, they yeah. was wilding, they were saying everything, yeah. but I was telling him, I was like, Yo, peep, how creative he has to be 
Mm-hmm. To uh-huh. shut them down. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And still win that. Rep the Lord. Yeah. And right. And rep the Lord. And I was like, and you know, I showed that to him, man. His mind yeah. was blown. Blown. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I love try to that. tell people, man, like, you don't, you know, you know we, we don't necessarily even have to go outside the body to be like, yo, I like, well, let's go find creative, creative people. Like, yo, we got creative Christians, you know what I'm saying? Like we serve the creator of creativity, right. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like he, he like them them dudes are only spazzing on me because he's giving them the grace to do that, you know what I'm saying? Right. So right. um <laughs> but but yeah, man, that's that's a that's a dope uh testimony right there. I, I think, you know, it's not just the sit- the battle though. I, I try to tell people like, yo, when I'm in the venue, um it's still a dark situation, you know what I'm saying? You got to think yeah. about it. everybody Everybody smoking, everybody drinking, you know, and then Twisted. you got, you know, and then you got women who see you on stage and then you getting off stage and then they want to take pictures and have these conversations stuff like that. So, you know, you got to always just, uh, uh, just be yeah, on guard. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, yeah. and just yeah. like, all right, cool. Let me get up out of the situation. But, you know, or just be around, you know, a group of guys that, you know, like, all right, cool. They're going to hold me down while I'm out yeah. here. Out, right. While I'm out here. And that's right. dope too, because, um, you you you're putting yourself in that environment where we're so used to people come to church right like most people be like oh come to church come to church check this pastor check this out and you go on the opposite and i'm calling to you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm where you think jesus would be at yeah where you think jesus <laughs> yeah, would be at right. on this podcast exactly. with us or you know somewhere else you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, he would be on the fastest growing Christian podcast. He would. <laughs> Yo, but no, so two questions. Well, two questions. Number one, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the what's the most difficult part um, that you find when it comes to battle rap and I guess Christianity? Mm-hmm. Uh, difficult thing in Christianity and then difficult no. thing, or or being a Christian in battle rap. Yeah, being a Christian in battle rap. Oh, um, man. I would say, um, so early I alluded it to it, right? Like battle rap is huge on the uh, that Christianity is the white man's religion. And so mm-hmm. before I got into battle rap, I was never confronted with that. I just wasn't. I remember running into some Hebrew Israelites. I remember running into some like, you know, five percenters, but it wasn't nothing like the conversation of like, yo, the white man used this to enslave us and your Bible is yada, yada, yada. So like right. for me, it caused me to kind of take a step back. I was like, yo, I want to know where they getting this from. You know what I'm saying? I want to know. So um, I don't want to say one of the most uh, difficult, or what's the difficult thing, but I'll say one of the most challenging things for me were to one, um, and I'm going to say this, um, admit that things in the name of Jesus have been done mm-hmm. to uh, enslave um, African-Americans. You know what I'm saying? Like there were European right. Christians, there were European Christians. And so right. we can go on, we can go on a, a, on a long conversation on, Oh, were, were they really Christian or whatnot? But there were Europeans who were calling themselves Christians who were using the Bible that you and I read, right. And enslaving mm-hmm. people. And so um, it was for me to, to, to admit that, right. Admit that, yo, this, this did occur. Did this happen? Um, um, there are some, some hard truths in scriptures, but I'm willing to go ahead and walk with you and work, work through these things. And so, uh, being a Christian, they almost assume that you have all the answers, but you know, you, that's why, that's why sitting down with them and letting them know, like, I don't, but I know who does. Let's go ahead and talk about him <laughs> and, and where this kind of starts and stuff. So, no. uh, that for me, bro, for me, that was, that was the most difficult thing. Okay. All right. Second question is, good stuff. where did the, what? No, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, where did the imaginary gum bar, uh, I guess, segment yeah, yeah, come yeah. from? Man, you know, I don't do that no more, right? <laughs> Why? Man, so that it was got dope. turned. Yeah, it was, bro. It was, I was undefeated with it. I was yeah, like, yeah. it was, it shook the room every time. The reason why I stopped it though is because <laughs> it became an angle for my opponent and it became, and oh, really, okay, okay. I mean, I probably should still do it because to this day, I haven't done a uh, an imaginary gun bar segment in like two years, maybe, maybe a little more. Next but they battle, still, let's go. I'm bringing the yeah, gun right? bars back. Yeah, but they still, <laughs> but they still use it against me. They still, you know, oh. talk about it, whatnot. But um, yeah, it yeah. came from, um, 
so I, I, I wanted to kind of like, so the dude, my first battle, I don't know if you guys ever saw, it was against this guy named Problems. And, yeah, um, Problems, that's what he I heard was, from, yeah. Yep, and so he, shout out to him, you know, he's, he, he's a good guy and, and, you know, he's still my homie, so I'm not trying to clown him, but um, he and I was like the main event for it and, you know, he had this persona of like, this guy. So first of all, you know, I mean, I'm like, I wasn't always a Christian. So like, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out in these streets too. And so I know who's who and, and did what. And so, um, not saying that I know all, but he was, um, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Yeah, So I'm saying that, um, when we, when we did the battle, I had found out that he had, uh, he was working at this cookie shop, you know, it's called great American cookies. <laughs> and so, um, literally at this mall and, uh, one of my boys, he actually used to work there. Right. And he was like, he didn't work there no more, but he was like, yo, you battling this guy. And I was like, yeah, he was like, yo, I used to work with him. I said, where, where? He was oh, like, great man. American cookies. I said, what is it called? He was That's like, the whole battle. Cookies. That's the whole battle. I wrote right that, there. bro. <laughs> and so, um, so I wrote Dang. that. And I was just like, I was just uh-huh. like, yo, like, when you doing all this shooting, when you doing all this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you clocking in and selling. Like, I'm not, I'm not against a, a, a hood dude having a nine to five, yeah. but you can't right, be, right. you can't be selling cookies and, and telling me you doing that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't selling like, crack. You selling cookies? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's I had a line like that. You ain't flip. I was saying like, so like you ain't flipping pies. Or, you know, flipping pies. So, uh, but um, so I, so I was like, yo, these are. And so I said to myself, I remember I was prepping. And I was like, oh, these imaginary guns. And I was like, ah, oh, you know what? I could kind of clown him. But what ended up happening? Is that the imaginary gumball segment where it was supposed to be me clowning them? It ended up becoming like fire gun bars that I was creating. Mm-hmm. Right, and it was right. so easy. And so I was, I did it. So that's why the first one I did it. Then the second battle, I was like, oh, kind of people already know the slogan. So I did it again. And then like every they start battle, bringing the audience most, in. Yeah, yeah. Then the sec then every battle, it was it I put it in my second round. Every battle it got to a point where people were like, um they were waiting at the it was like my special move they were waiting for it and whenever if and i felt like yo if i won round one if you didn't win round one you definitely not winning round two because if i get to my imaginary gumbar set it's about to be it's about to be lights yeah. out for you and so <laughs> yeah. uh my favorite one if y'all ever won it's one of my favorite battles um and if you uh you could probably show your stepson too in this one this this one i kind of like reference people to it's loso versus barry bands and so um that's my favorite everybody asks me like, what's my favorite imaginary gumbar set but that's my that's my that's one of my favorite battles it's early on so obviously you know i wasn't as good as i am today but um definitely you know some of my best material though at the time yeah that's dope and and you know what? At, at all the elite rappers, that's what they do too. They have like this segment or this cliche, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You can't say uh, arse without, you know what I mean? Yeah, without yeah, yeah. this, like it, or somebody or always has yeah. a slogan and mm-hmm. you have that. And then also, it also shows like, yo, I could do what y'all be doing and what y'all be on if I was on it like that. Easy. You know what I mean? Oh, right. Easy, bro. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that's, yeah, that's, I'm not I think, front, I think the whole, the whole battle like situation. Go ahead, go ahead. Now I'm not going front like there's some because I can't say them or I don't say them. Like there's some battlers that you know, I, like I'll throw some gun balls their way and they'll be like, "Hey, you could use this and maybe using it." You know what I'm saying? So, oh. <laughs> Nikki Jam. Uh, Confirmed. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's the that's the that's the uh that's the a clickbait that's, title. Yo, that's yeah. gonna be our title. Also <laughs> rights for Nikki Jam. <laughs> yeah, that's he gonna call Nikki you in the gonna morning. Be calling you like, yo, what's going on? What's right, this Christian yeah. podcast talking about, man? <laughs> oh, man? You sign that NDA, man. You know you sign that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yo, that's what's up, that check yo. back real quick. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what so what else you got, Loso? Where can people find you? What you got coming up? Yeah, you man. Gotta... If you want to go ahead and support Loso, man, go to everythingloso.com. It's a one-stop shop for everything. So, like if you want music, uh, you can go click my links on there if you want to get my spot, uh, my my social media. Um, all my social media platforms uh, has a link there too. 
Uh, if you want to support the merch, uh, got some merch up there. I need to go ahead and restock, but I definitely got some more stuff up there. Um, and, you know, once once things start picking back up, uh, Lord willing, as far as like shows and stuff, you know, you'll you'll see updates there as well. So, um, but yeah, everythingloso.com. But, you know, you contact me, y'all. Like if y'all watch this podcast and want to talk to me more, I, I try to make myself available to everyone. So, you know, email me, uh, get me on that website, you know, contact me through that website and uh, we can make it happen. It's in the bag too. Yeah, right. It's a fight, right? It's a fee. Yeah, it's a fee. Yeah, yeah, don't wait till the last minute. It's a fee. Facts, 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 man. Y'all think I did this for the love for Switch? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got an album coming too, right? Man, I don't. So it's just single. So I just dropped oh, a single singles. though. Um, okay. Yeah, I just dropped a single uh, uh, with a Water Saga called "On the Move." Mm-hmm. It's out right now on streaming platforms. Um, and then, you know, I'm, I'm constantly doing features. I'm, I'm, I'm always doing features like that, but I do want to sit down and kind of like get a project together, but, uh, just, you know, just because of these battles and stuff like that, I'd be ha- yeah. like, sometimes I'd be like writing some good material for a song and I'm like, Oh, I got to say that for a battle. I got to move this inside. <laughs> so, uh, but I do want to, I do want to just carve out some time soon and, and hopefully put together another EP. So we're gonna see we're gonna see Nikki Jams and switch on that on that new project. <laughs> Yo, how crazy <laughs> would that song be, bro? Oh, I, forget so, I mean, not song? that crazy if you wrote it. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Stop <laughs> running with that narrative, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not crazy. It's gonna be all we, over Twitter. <laughs> we need that. Yo, we need a video is. and everything for that. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> what? Dope, dope, dope. Well, uh, Loso, are you gonna say something else? Nah, go ahead. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Loso, for coming on. For real. Uh, we really you, appreciate bro. it. It was a dope chop. And uh, make sure everybody that's listening and that's watching these videos on YouTube, hit that subscribe button and yeah. uh, go check out Loso. Um, links will be in the description. Um, make sure you copy your merch at shop.that'snotchristian.com. Use promo code TNC and get 10% off. Uh, we are the fastest growing Christian podcast. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.